Hello and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Jesse. In today's tip, I'd like to talk about selection sets. Now, selection sets have been available for quite a while in SolidWorks Composer. However, in SolidWorks itself, selection sets have only been available since 2015. Typically, when I'm moving things around in an assembly that has a lot of things in the way, I'll just use my tab key to show or hide things. Now again, shift tab will bring them back. Now if you watched my webinar last week on my favorite enhancements for SOLIDWORKS 2016, you saw that we now have this available in multi-body parts as well, which is very helpful. However, sometimes when I'm doing this on more of a mass scale, it's helpful to be able to save a group of selections so that I can manipulate things much easier. This makes it easier when I'm working with adding and removing display states and things like that. So let's take a look at how this works. I'd like to take this tree and hide all of these ornaments. This will help me make a display state or configuration in which the tree sits on its own without the decorations. In order to do that, I'll move right over to my tree and I'll select the components that I would like to remove. We'll skip down here under the star, we'll leave the star, everything else we'll remove. Now typically I would just go in and hide these components or create a new display state for these. But in this case, I would like to actually keep these so I can come back and select this same group of components over and over again. So rather than going right to hide, I'm going to right click and say save selection. Now when I say save selection, what we see happen is if we move up into the tree, we now have a new folder called selection sets. When I expand this out, we see that here I have all of my selections saved. So now I can come in from this list, I can individually select them, I can select them as a group, everything is retained. This can be helpful in numerous scenarios where we don't want to remake complex selections. Now I see in this case that I've gotten some information in here in this selection set that I didn't actually want. I got the legs as well. We can work with these after the fact as well, and all I have to do is come in here and say remove from selection set. I find this helpful in parts as well. If we take a look at one of these components, we can see that from here, maybe I can do some face selections. Now I use this most for appearances on complex selections on cases where maybe I'll do something like this. I'll select these faces here that are all the same appearance. Again, right click, save selection, and now I have those group of faces saved together. From here, I can add remove appearances, and I always have that group of faces linked together. This can also be nice for downstream applications like simulation or other purposes you might have for this model. Now, as I mentioned, Composer was the first to have this functionality, and you can see that functionality here. Again, if we move to the tree, we can make our selections. Again, whatever way is easiest to make these selections, in this case, it just happens to be from the tree. I'll remove the legs right out. All we have to do is move up to the top of the tree and you can see there's a button here for create selection set or use the shortcut control alt s upon clicking that i'm asked to give this a name whatever we call this you can see that will be stored lower in the tree so now if we scroll all the way to the bottom we have a section for selection sets under which we can see and find all of these items Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tech tip, and we hope to see you next time. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below. 